Hello and welcome to Taiwan Home Tutor. Firstly guys, I have to say that this is probably the funniest game I have ever played in my classroom. And you should have seen the, the faces of my students when they finally understand the hidden secret uh, in this game. It's really fun, the expressions sometimes so hilarious. So let me tell you about the setup. Uh, you have to probably prepare a bunch of uh, blank paper. Uh, you can take a four size paper and cut it like in four like this uh, Depends on how many students you have obviously Right and you have to prepare one hidden note for yourself with five questions Let me explain what kind of questions I usually use uh, Well number five did not really get a note. I'm sorry uh, Usually it will be the first question will be what's your name? Okay, I just put an N there, right? What's your name? Uh, number two would be what can't you do cannot you can use the word cannot because obviously sometimes kids can get confused with uh, can or can't they can't figure out which one you're saying uh, so cannot so that would be a verb as you understand what I'm writing here so noun verb number three would be an adjective so maybe you can ask something like how do you feel right now so there you go the adjective Okay, and number four, number four would be another noun. So this will be where do you live? Okay, so the place. And number five, uh, we will end up with another noun. Probably you can ask. Uh, I can't really remember what what I was what I was using for that, but for example, you can say um, what kind of animal you have at home, or maybe what did you eat for breakfast? That would be the best. What did you eat for breakfast this morning? Or what do you eat for breakfast every day? So as you see, we have a noun, a verb, adjective, uh, and following by two more nouns. Okay, so you will write uh, questions first, right? And you will mark up uh, what type of word uh, you will have to give your students. Right, next. On a whiteboard, you cannot tell students anything about uh, what's going to happen. Otherwise, it will spoil the surprise and you will not see those funny faces. Um, and I have, to, I have to warn you guys because after they figure out the secret, it might get really loud in the classroom because the game is hilarious. It's absolutely killing funny. So you have to keep in mind, like, um, you know, give it some time, maybe tell students to come down sometimes because you might disturb uh, your fellow teachers classes uh, the other their room or um, students will just make too much noise and your ears will pop so uh, what do you do here on the board you explain the rules clearly because sometimes English you know is not na uh, their native language it might uh, actually make a problem so you'll draw a piece of paper and you say okay you have to write your name first at the top then you have to write the numbers one two three four I can apologize my note is a little bit too small <laughs> I will extend it like this all right and next to the word when when they have done you can check walk around check that I have done that all right after that you have to tell them slowly what they have to write there so if they are not familiar with uh, the type of words like nouns verbs adjectives so you have to explain it first right the noun and this is like a person an animal or thing and no names by the way no names so no names of the places no names of people it should be like a solid noun all right so you have to, have to tell them like one by one okay the first word is a noun just tell them write one word one word one noun and the second will be the verb, then adjective, uh, following by a noun, and next noun. It could be in any order you wish, or it could be as, as I showed you here. It doesn't matter. All right, when everybody have done that, you can just walk around and check if, uh, if they have uh, finished that correctly. All right, and afterwards, when everything is fine, tell them to put the pencils away. If you uh, suspect some students to cheat, maybe you can take, uh, collect everybody's paper if you want, actually, and do it one by one. Ask them to go to the front of the board to tell them, uh, tell their answers. All right, or if you trust them enough, you just ask them to put everything away, like put a pencil in a pencil case and pencil case in the school bag. So basically, hide everything so they don't cheat. Okay, the very first person will just explode the classroom. Okay, now, they don't know about questions. They just 
they just wrote anything from the top of their head like without thinking and consequences obviously so you you will first ask like any random person or, or if they are teams you can actually set the teams and like give them like smiles or whatever for complete um, answers now the only one rule you have to explain to them is that they must give a complete answer for each question so you can give them uh, like uh, an example for example so we have a noun right uh, let's say uh, you can take somebody's paper somebody wrote a cat so you can just give them an example like what animal what is your favorite animal let's say and he would have to say my favorite animal is a cat so there you go so you go with this question so you say what's your name and you would not believe what they write there they can write something like a pencil for example so he actually must say my name is a pencil or pig my name is a pig or somebody would write poo poo well unfortunately for them they will have to say that so it just it is very very funny because some of the answers are like super fat so, so super funny like fat for example adjective uh somebody would say like i feel fat for example <laughs> it's just hilarious so i don't know try this game out uh be aware that it might cause some noise um uh, in the classroom like i say i would say very loud noise so keep it keep it in mind guys all right so i'm very happy to share this game with you and don't forget i would um, be appreciated if you share information about my channel on your facebook or twitter and uh, spread the word spread the word guys appreciate it thanks and see you next time on classroom games in taiwan home tutor bye guys